Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. 104.7 The K of Mikey intern, Jay Stevens. <laughs> right out the gate. In the studio. It's right out the, the gate. Stream. Technical difficulties. Always what the way we start on? this uh, podcast with technical difficulties before we figure out how to work these things. Again, I'm Mike the intern. This is Jay Stevens. And today on Dark Side of the Stream, we are going to discuss the new documentary film on Netflix, Sins of Our Mother. Jay's pick for our 106th episode. Gosh, man. Tells the story of uh, Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell and the storm that followed them. Um, straight out of the gate, uh, another oh, crazy story involving the LDS church. Yeah, my man. What's, what's going on with these... Uh... I, I don't i don't know last time we uh, got on that line we recorded an entire podcast and we had to redo it, it. And we had to redo it because mike, 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 mike came to heat mike, mike came in a little too hot that day so we had to redo it i don't want to go there again but yeah um tells the story of uh, uh Lori vallow her ex-husband her children she seemed like a normal she, chick at one point well, yeah I, I yes and no um there were signs i think early on that she had some mental issues um going forward uh and and i think if don't we all though the police early on when her ex-husband was involved um when he was still alive that is um when he tried to get the police involved um no one believed him because everything yeah, they he, thought was he was saying, the crazy yeah guy. everything he was saying crazy. came came across like this dude's what is he talking about darkness yeah. and light and demons Sound like a and, classic and all uh, these things and classic the cops uh, are like eh. parent struggle and then they bring her in and she's normal she starts straight the court, talks to the thing charms gets, them i think got her daughter kind of in line to what that she yeah. needed to say and the cops the are like yeah crazy. If you need an evaluation, you can go get one. But, you know, it's not a big deal. Well, then with, within like a week, her husband's dead. And yeah. then going back, the cops were like, uh, we should have saw the warning signs. Uh, yeah. Uh. And then on top of the fact that like, or straight out of the gate, when her ex-husband got shot by her brother, um, which is that story. You, you would think like every time something would happen in the story, you're just like, oh, my God. All, I came in whenever everyone else did, which was like where are her kids like when the media started yeah. really picking up on this but then when you get back and further and further and further and how all this started it really started with you know her ex-husband and bro dude crazy man hey, you know i i in real time i remember hearing about the story only because the hawaii element yeah Kauai. We're like been oh there. We, we arrested this couple in, in Kauai. Yeah, the kids yeah. have been missing for a while and i was like oh what's been up to is that is that yeah that, i've been to Kauai. is yeah. it cool beautiful it yeah it's, beautiful. it's more smaller than than the island i was from so it's very very uh like remote yeah like more like a tropical island instead of like a town so know, it's so. kind of more of the tourist vibe i guess than anything else probably not even that just like shacks you know it's really very, i mean i was there years ago but it's a very small and more underdeveloped the, than the big island, the big island yeah um that's cool i yeah it, it, it there's so many layers to the story it's just unbelievable but really it starts with uh a guy pretending to be a prophet right really. again another another one of these lds but is it ld lds uh, lds guys trying to saying he's gonna he's a prophet chad chad daybell claimed that he had a near-death experience he was cliff diving or in utah or something got knocked out and then jesus or god spoke to him and said that you know you're the you're the second coming you're the one that needs to be the one to help us get through the apocalypse so he starts releasing these books and there are a lot of these guys out there but they even had a woman on there that claims she literally interviewing her claiming she that said she, he's she crazy talks, but i talk but to people i too. talk to god yeah but that's not the right one he's actually talking to satan and, right and again it's like dude well what which is it but then whoever with these voices were we're telling they were grading people yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later on because what's that, your that number? Whole what's your number? Jay and I are going to try and figure out where we're at on the scale. I think uh, I'd be pretty dark. Let's do it next. Uh, dark side of the stream continues. We'll rate how much demons we have inside our souls next on one hundred four point seven The Cave. One hundred four point seven The Cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. Dark side of the stream, episode one hundred six, discussing sins of our mother. Now, before we try and figure out where we're at on the light and dark scale, the one thing about this documentary I thought was incredible was they had it literally first from uh, Lori's son. 
who was her firstborn son. He luckily had been married and had a kid. And Seems was like, like a normal away. dude. Yeah, he was. And even like he, he, he really tried for his brother and sister to try and get them, find out what was going on. Um, you know, obviously it was difficult for him because it, you know, involved his mother. Um, and I can't even imagine what kind of position that would be. For right. You. And his grandma was such in denial, dude. She was just as bad as her mom, his mom though, man, like literally went on TV. It's like, she's innocent. She's yeah. innocent. even, even after the fact it was kind of still like begrudgingly just, admitting the fact that, oh yeah, well maybe, you know, she did the blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, the, the crazy tree was definitely close to the farm. I mean, the it's, there's, there's a repeated pattern of this too. If, if, if so, you know, somebody and all of a sudden their kids are missing and you ask, Hey, where's your kids? And they don't just give you an answer. There's that should an probably issue. be a red flag. Yeah. Like, Universal she did red flag. Try to pin it on her friend. Yeah, and her like, friend was like, "No, no, hold up, now, hold do up, this hold to up, me. don't yeah. drag me into this." That was, that was like, that was so. That so should have been another ball. red flag. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the couple things that I wrote down, um, was that you know I think she already had kind of the seeds of crazy in her, but then she was definitely abused in her first marriage. Um. And then she finds another guy, and the the crazy starts to take over. Um. Eventually, I guess, uh, she, her brother tased this dude in the, in the groin, which that was a crazy story. Um. I I really think that she definitely had some sort of disorder. Had she gone to seek help, it may have been treated, but right. she didn't, and just kept going further and further, becoming really obsessed with the apocalypse and everybody Chad around was, them started dying yeah and just started feeding it she became a, a prepper not in the sense that like i have a bug out bag that stuff i can see but like we're talking like pounds and pounds of rice and yeast and basically prepping with the fact that they were going to be part of the hundred and forty four thousand that were remaining after the apocalypse was supposed to happen i think they called it was like in 2020 was when it was supposed to go down ah, surprise it didn't happen damn it but part of their their thought process was that some of us in the world now were zombies. Oh yeah. Living zombies. So, Got to take them out. And on that scale, they Gotta had to take, take out, out like 20,000 people that were zombies living in the yeah. world and they were going to kill them all. And they started to, and they started with her ex-husband who was a demon named Ned, which I thought was hilarious yeah. or Nick, Ned. Did Ned or Nick. I, I've almost asked Ned. It, that, I think I, it was Ned. I, I didn't the, want to scare him. Be the like demon. Hey, Ned. man, where are you on the light and dark list? No. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely on the dark side. I probably got three demons in me right now. Yeah, but, she'd probably you know, think uh, we're both on the dark side. Good thing we didn't cross paths with demon. these people, right? I dead. mean, our podcast is called "The Dark Side of the Stream." I just so can't. We, yeah, yeah, we're done. <laughs> They're kind of tongue in cheek. They there. might be coming for us right now. I just can't believe that she was able to get her brother to pull all of these acts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, like I, if I ever come to you and say like. Uh, hey, can you kill somebody for me? <laughs> Tell me no. That's her brother too. <laughs> and like the no. way they would have these text conversations, like, "Oh, bad news about our brother. He's a demon now." Yeah. Oh, and he'd be like, "Oh, yeah, take I knew him it. out. Oh, I knew all right, it, I'll go get him." <laughs> what? I guess my own not... kids are demons now. We're gonna have to take them out, well, guys. I've definitely Woo. thought that before, but then like you come snack back to reality, and you're like, "No, they're just two. You know, you, it's a two year old kid." I, it's just you heart my heart breaks for that for those children um for her older son um just God, and for the guys would, trying to raise red flags like the son and, and the, the, the ex-husband husband who literally could everybody have thought he was this. crazy and he could have stopped and right cops the like gate. nah you're crazy you're crazy now he man. did come across a little crazy i got more notes to talk about next dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens back in the studio episode 106 dark side of the stream discussing sins of our mother so Another thing that they believed in uh, this cult or whatever you want to call it, the Chad Daybell Fellowship. I don't know. I just don't know how to some some classic some, Chad. Some schlep like this guy. First of all, scores a chick like that. Lori was good looking. Yeah, I mean, at one dude, point she was cute. She was a Miss Texas know? at one point. Yeah, you got I would have. You got this guy figuring out how to Schlepp get a chick Rock like comes that. In, yeah. Well, well, guys, if you're if you're listening and you you see a hot chick you want to score with, just pretend you're either Jay Stevens or you're some sort of prophet because it might work. The line is very very close. It's very slim. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other thing that they believed was that they were the reincarnations of. Uh, she believed like the reincarnation of uh, Joseph Smith's wife. 
And I don't know what Daybell thought he was a reincarnation of, but that she was had something a podcast else. out there. It was preparing a people out. Yeah. Uh, was the conference they met at the feel the fire podcast, which I have not listened have to. You, you should check it out. I don't know it if I, I don't know if riveting. I want to, I just, it blows, it's one of those more, one other, another podcast where they talk like this and oh yeah. That's yeah. Great. Welcome oh, to yeah, our podcast great. today. Oh, thanks, we're man. talking about thanks the end me. times. Thanks for having which me. We're six dude. months away. From. What about the price of gas? Maybe we should flip this in dark side of the stream and just talk about the end of the world. You know, just talk about the end of the world. We're in the world. It's signs know, are everywhere. We're all going to be man. saved. We're signs are everywhere. Saved. Listen to the cave, and you'll Listen be you'll cave. be on that yeah. white list. You'll Listen to the cave at six p.m. every play day. Backwards, every day, and, and then you'll you will be, find you'll the be true answers. One of the chosen ones. The true answers. See, more more to never, come. More to come on the next segment. We'd never make it as prophets, dude. We just <laughs> you could just you could just see the BS line rising and rising. Our and rising. cult would have to be what everyone's naked, right? Uh, yeah, definitely, because definitely clothes, making time because clothes are how demons can hold you down. I actually say clothes optional. Um, definitely heavy drug use. Yeah, heavy I mean, drug you use. Can't have cult. a cult without heavy drug use. Um, um, are we gonna listen to like? Are we gonna be one of those where like we are kind of like the folksy kind of listening to like folksy song cult? Thinking, are we gonna be I'm like? I'm thinking EDM. Him? I'm thinking EDM. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Chill EDM. That well, is my, that where we split in cults? That's where like, our, that's like, our cults. Just, mine is just like split. The, the metal yep. cult, and yours yeah. is the no, EDM mine's, cult. Mine's EDM and naked cult. And, uh, okay. uh, we all we all sit. It in all the started fields. here, dark side of the cult, and then we split into splinter. Uh, splinter cults. Uh, Father, after, uh, brother, brother Mike and brother Jay. Brother, brother, brother husband. Brother husband Mike and brother husband Jay started as a couple, and then we branched out with many yeah, other brother husbands. Same. Because we're you can't we have we both are the chosen ones. What's the goal of this cult anyway? Uh, I think you just try to have sex with everybody, right? I see. That's the other splint. Is I'm in it for the money. Because I think the sex will well, follow the money, so I want the money first. You know, the sex is my... great afterwards. Well, you, on your side, you try that, and I'll try the other way around, and then we'll see. We'll, we'll see meet up at the better. end. <laughs> see who has the better cult. Follow us here. Praise How Brother to form Jay. a cult this morning on 104.7 <laughs> The Cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back one more time. Dark Side of the Stream, episode 106, discussing sins of our mother. So how many... Uh, how many demon inside demon level oh. would you get? They were levels? like D D D three D three L fourteen D seven D. And it's like, dude, it just came up with this. I, yeah. I just, I, I mental mental health is a big deal. Dude man. wrote a lot of books though. And yeah, he, but anyone can he write had a books. good hustle. A guy had a Vince good hustle. Neil wrote a book. That didn't mean anything, bro. I, what? <laughs> and he probably didn't even write. He's like, yeah, just put my, you put my name on that. You I got a ghostwriter and just yeah, yeah just say uh, just say yeah, all right. Perfect. I was six and a half feet yeah. tall, and I yeah, Perfect. that's right. Uh, so yeah, I you know, I, I, I want Great. I give it I give it four stars because I thought the the journalist or whoever was behind this thing did a great job covering all the bases of this incredibly crazy story. Well, because it was a lot going on. There was man. a lot going on. The 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 getting the son involved in the, the way they did. I'm assuming they're the ones that flew him out to Kauai for the for the uh the memorial yeah, that they yeah, did for his yeah. dad because i mean he, he looked at that guy as his dad you know what i yeah. mean his real dad wasn't around he was abusive right this guy uh came in and helped raise him along with his uh, brother and sister um it was it was gut-wrenching um it really is uh they both are facing trial which will happen next year so i'm sure that will be live streamed across the world for all of us to watch them just break down i wonder if they still believe that we're all demons, maybe it, they feel like they're trapped. Yeah. How, how long does the lie continue? Yeah, it's and, and what what eventually did we figure out how the kids actually what happened to the kids? Um, yeah, they have not, and that's the end of the documentary. They haven't released what actually what the results okay. of the autopsies right. were with the ex husband. Tam well, no, they did with the ex husband Tammy and the two kids. They did not. Right. Tammy being Chad's so ex wife, kids. who died of natural causes at forty with no health problems. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. And then the other the thing they did say about the ex husband was that he was shot again while he was on, on the ground, yeah. which is the kill shot. I don't know how they just let that go and say no. Yeah, it was, was kind of weird. You're like, oh, you're good. No, yeah, no, no, you're staying down. Boom. Wait, you like, so no, no, so no, no, you no. went to uh, he got shot and you ended up taking the kid to school and going to Taco Bell and then going to Walgreens yeah. to buy some flip flops. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. you came home to make sure everything mm -hmm. was cool. Yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Another red flag. Again, the cops really dropped the ball there, man. They really dropped. Well, the ball I mean, one. I just think lesson learned of it all. If somebody's kids or, or you're not seeing somebody's kids around but at that point them, it they was don't have an already answer. too late because i mean you you the the, the other thing that was gut-wrenching is that they had a photo of the youngest boy jj in the jam as he was found in. so that pretty much tells investigators that was the last time anyone ever saw him uh, that day and that just i just can't i can't as I a like parent stuff, dude yeah, like it's just stuff. like how do you do it well again 
with people that are liars and believe the lie, once you go so far, so far in, there's no coming back. Because your whole world becomes around this thing. So it's easier for this mother to kill her kids because she thinks it's a demon than admit, oh my God, I killed my ex-husband and this guy's been stringing me along and this is all BS. I, I can't believe I've done this. Oh my God, oh my God. That's harder for her to then, then kill her own children because it's easier to admit that they're demons and they're not there anymore. Wow. That's crazy, dude. I, so watch it. It's going to obviously upset everyone. Bro, it's it's, uh, it's it gut a But I will give us. you credit, Jay, because that I, it was a good I, find. It, it was a lot more than I thought. So I yeah, definitely did it. Four demons. Yeah, I'll go four, four demons. demons. Yeah, four demons. Uh, too. Next week is my pick. We're going to do the real bling ring. A bunch of kids were stealing from a bunch of celebrity homes in Hollywood, Ooh, California. Okay, that's fun. So yeah, figured that's out like how, Robin Hood, dude. In my opinion, yeah, that's Robin Hood, them. fair game, dog. Why do you need a million dollar necklace? Yeah, spread the wealth, my yeah. man. Anarchy, baby. It's, it's, sh- we're not too far from that. So that's true. Be careful. Uh, yeah, I know. You can. My sh- two radio DJs incite riot in hey, Springfield, look, Missouri. Look, we you know we don't have anything, so don't come to my yeah, house. Well, uh, unless, if anybody's stealing anything, you're there's way better targets than my unless house. Unless you want a bunch of used records and a bunch of costumes from this guy, you're not getting much. Uh, anyway, you can stream the show online, 1047thecave.com, every Thursday, 9 p.m. or 9 p.m., 9 a.m., oh. 6 p.m. You can demons watch got to him. On, the demons got to him. They want you up late. Watch backwards. Uh, stream us again, on Facebook, YouTube. You find our podcast wherever you find your podcast. Yes, we'll, been, I'm, we'll share our intern. stories. And, this know. is Jay Stevens. Yeah, join me cold. Me Today is the day. You. Today is the day. As we fight the coming apocalypse on dark side of the stream. Clothing optional. One hundred four point seven. The cave. Goodbye. So you don't have to. <laughs>